Okay, so I've been thinking a lot about this. I've been, like, I've thought about this in the past, but I've been thinking about it a lot more recently. Um, whether or not they're going to keep this um, plot point or plot of the entire book. And previously I've been like, oh no, it's a little, like, it's outdated. I don't know, Jenny would want to do that again. But I actually think because, like, in revisiting book three again, it's the fact of, like... So so they get engaged, right, and they're 18, 19. I forget how... Belly's 18, turning 19, and Jeremiah must be 20, 20, turning 21. Anyway, so, like, it's, it's like, they do this drastic, like, you're way too young thing. Like, that we would view it in, the, in 2023 as way too young. But that's actually the way the characters around them view it, too. So it's not seen as, like, oh, yeah, this is perfectly normal. Like, it's almost seen as, like, they are doing something wrong, and therefore, like, people around them are trying... Like, that's why Laurel doesn't speak to Belly for months for months and this is a spoiler but it's conrad who finally gets laurel to talk to belly again because she's so furious with her because she's like you're way too fucking young and so i think actually jenny will keep it because like that's the whole point it's like you're too young you're rushing into this for the wrong reasons like nobody knows why they're getting married other than taylor Oh, I forget the other name of their friend who I love. I love their other college friend. What is her name? Oh, this is going to bug me that I can't remember. I can't remember her name. Anyway, I can't remember her name, but she's amazing. So, like, only very selective people know that he cheated, and that's why they got engaged. And, like, even those people are like, um, I don't know if this is a good idea. So it's it's not like their behavior is, is like, A, rewarded, but A is seen as, like, correct. Because everybody around them is going, you should not be fucking doing this. And so, actually, that's why I think they will keep it. Because it makes sense, even in today's standards, for people to look at that being like, why are you doing this? So it actually, it totally makes sense. It aligns. Like, Laurel has a problem with it. Their parents, uh, their, the other parents have a problem with it. Adam has a problem with it. Belly and Steven's dad kind of initially has a problem with it, but he's 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 such a uh, pushover, like that he's like, whatever Laurel wants, we'll do kind of thing. Anyway, so I think they will actually keep it, like almost. I mean, I don't know about the. Ch- I I mean, I think the cheating thing will happen. I'm just not sure how it will happen. But in terms of like them getting engaged, totally gonna happen, because it 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 it's not it's not outdated. It's 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 still just as shocking then as it would be now, and that's excuse me, that's the whole plot of that book, of how, like, ridiculous it is that they're getting married. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm shouting. But, <laughs> um, so I totally think it will stay the same. I've been thinking about this, and I was like, you know you know what? It will stay the same. It makes total sense for it to stay the same. And nothing about it wouldn't make sense for it to stay the same. But yeah, I still would love to hear people's uh, opinions about that. So I want to talk about the parallel of this scene And this scene, I want to talk about why these two scenes parallel each other. If you honestly think about it, in the front seat of the other car, we have Taylor, Milo, and Stevens in the back seat. Taylor's in the passenger seat, Milo's in the driver's seat, Stevens in the back seat. In this scene, Belly's in the front seat, in the passenger seat, Jeremiah's driving, Conrad is in the back. This further proves the theory of Jenny knows exactly what she's doing, and every single scene, every single word, and every single little detail that we see has a meaning. Now, if Taylor and Steven have ended up together and are the our true soulmates, that would further make sense of why Belly and Conrad will end up together, not Belly and Jeremiah. Because Milo's in that driver's seat and he's gone bye bye. Jeremiah's in the driver's seat and he's obviously always gonna be there. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to be happy. He deserves to be happy with somebody, but it's not Belly. And I really hope he has, I hope he does get his redemption arc of finding happiness with someone, whoever that may be. But ultimately, this story is not a love triangle because it's these two finding their way back to one another. Just like for Stephen and Taylor, those two find their way to one another. 
and those two have been in each other's lives just like Belly and Conrad have. Taylor and Belly have been friends all of their lives just like Belly and Conrad have. So there's so many overlapping parallels here that draw that the same that the love triangle between Stephen Milo and Taylor is very much Conrad, Belly, and Jeremiah. And she's going to end up with Conrad. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you made the connection that these two scenes were supposed to parallel and overlap one another. I've loved you since I was 10 years old. You're the only boy I've ever thought about. My whole life, it's always been you. You taught me how to dance. You came out and got me the time I swam out too far. Do you remember that? You so that edit popped up on my For You page. And then I started thinking about this love confession from Belly and how we never got this in season one. And it's a beautiful love confession. And I'm kind of mad that we didn't get it in season one. But then this started getting my wheels turning. Could we or could Jenny be saving this for season three finale? Hear me out. Because... Yes, we know that season three is going to build up to Conrad finally opening up and giving his true feelings and Conrad telling Belly that he is, he loves her, he loves her still, always have, always will. But at the same time, Conrad hasn't gotten that from Belly either. I just feel like after everything, how the book goes, they do go their own ways for a few years. I can see Jenny pulling that out after... She finally reconnects with Conrad again at the end of the book. And she confessed to him all this. Because this sounds like it would be the perfect moment for her to say it. I mean, Conrad is going through hell right now. And he's going to be through next season. If we get book three, Conrad's going to build up the whole season to finally confess his love for her, clearly. And then the wedding gets canceled or called off. They don't see each other for another two years, two, three years, I think it is. So could at that point, Jenny pull this love confession out? I feel like we could see this at the end, at the very, very end of season three, after they finally, she, she finally comes back from Spain, she grew up, whatever the case may be, upon her finally realizing that she wants to really be with Conrad, that she gives him this confession. I can totally see it. And I think now I want this. I don't know if we're going to get it, but I just love this confession. And it's, other than the saltines part, they can edit it around. And this could be like the final love confession that brings them together at the end of season three. What do you guys think? Okay, State of Grace, your username. You left the comment. Also, it's not an accident that we left the season with Jeremiah on the bleachers and yet Conrad and Belly are like the main protagonist kind of thing. I can't find the comment and it's driving me bananas. But like, I like, and I will tag you in this, but oh, that comment sent, sent me spinning, I swear. Because I didn't even think about that. It's so true. And that, that's the whole point that's the point jeremiah will always be the on the bleachers he'll he'll always be the one observing whereas conrad and belly will be like the active participants in this relationship in this story because this is the whole thing this story is their love story it's not jeremiah and belly's love story it's conrad and belly's love story they're the active participants like at the moment they're going through the time where they're not together but it's still their love story and I guarantee you like for those who haven't read book three oh just you wait and see even when she's with Jeremiah best believe she's thinking about Conrad best believe so I love this point that actually this closing scene was still making the impression, hey, Conrad and Belly are still the ones who are like on the court, in the house, doing their thing, whereas Jeremiah is the one watching them, watching her. That's not an accident. And for like people who are like, like, which I understand, right? Like I'm one to talk, but like for people who are like, this wasn't very accurate. Like who the fuck goes to a volleyball camp? That's not the point. It's the point and like suspend your disbelief for like two seconds, if you will. It's the point that he's watching her. He's the observer. He's looking in and he like wants to be close with her. With Whereas Conrad never had to be the observer. He's the active participant. He's the one in her, in her room setting up like 